Let's look at the 23 best smart glasses technologies of CES 2023. I went to CES with my collaborator Alex to see the future of smart glasses and to present our open source smart glasses hardware. Let's go. The most impressive smart glasses demo at CES was the Vuzix Ultralight. Oh, wow, they just turned on. There you go. Oh my God. The Ultralight is the latest Vuzix smart glasses designed for consumer use. They are an OEM reference design that features a monocular monochrome green micro LED display and the slimmest, sleekest, sexiest frames I've ever seen in a pair of smart glasses with the display. The TCL Rainio X2 is TCL's latest all day smart glasses featuring a binocular full color micro LED display, camera, microphone, and touchpad. These are a bit bulky, but still fitting a form factor that might be reasonable in daily life for consumers. Developer kits will be available in Q1 2023 with a commercial launch later on. The future of the metaverse. Xander Glasses helps the deaf and hard of hearing to communicate by overlaying live captions on their vision with smart glasses. Xander Glasses primarily uses the Vuzix blade, and the entire system is self-contained, running on the blade, so it doesn't require a paired phone or any other accessory. Port 6 builds a high bandwidth gesture control on a regular smartwatch. This gives you full mouse control of your smart glasses just by moving your fingers and hand. They use the PPG and IMU on the smartwatch, and so it gives the kind of control we've seen from EMG, but without any extra hardware. Celeste is building smart glasses for the blind. The glasses have an embedded camera that can, with a simple voice command, read off a menu out loud, or describe a scene. Celeste is building their own custom hardware, and since it doesn't need a display, it's very light and comfortable. I'm Caden, and this channel is about smart glasses, neurotech, and smart glasses. I'm a researcher, engineer, and user of these technologies. So subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Ixana is building a custom wireless protocol that will drastically decrease the power consumption of smart glasses. We can transmit data wirelessly at 100 times lower power yeah. than Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. We contain the data around a person. That means we can communicate by touch. So here I have a phone with my transmitter. Over here I have a blue box with my receiver. And when I touch the electrode of the receiver, I am receiving data. The Vuzix Shield is a pair of enterprise smart glasses running Android 11 with a Snapdragon XR1. They have binocular monochrome micro LED green displays with stereoscopic cameras, multiple microphones, and over a thousand milliamp hours of batteries. These things are designed to be used in enterprise. They have a high price tag of about 2,500 US, but that's designed to be used for use cases where there's a high ROI immediately. After walking about 10 miles a day, Alex needed a little break. Shake him. Urim makes reflective waveguides with high field of view and high efficiency. They had quite a bit of forward light propagation or eye glow, and it was hard to see the eyes, but the display did look pretty good. The Argo by Digilens is a beast with an XR2 chipset and binocular 30 degree field of view waveguides. These things are packed with tech, meaning they're ready for enterprise use cases, but not sleek and slim and ready to be worn by consumers, which is not what they're designed for. Celid makes waveguides for smart glasses. I'm not really sure what their claim to fame actually is, but the display looked pretty good. I noticed the display wasn't actually in the part of the lens it would need to be to align with the eye, and they said they're working on making the fold smaller so that it would be aligned with the eye. The Active Look Engo 2 is a lightweight pair of smart glasses designed for fitness use cases, cycling, running, working out, etc. That's these. Active Look didn't have a booth at CES, but they won an innovation award for their work. They sent me a pair, and I'm going to be reviewing these in a future video coming very soon. They're really nice. Voxel Sensors builds a 3D environment mapping sensor that doesn't rely on time of flight and doesn't fall prey to interference from other volumetric sensors. They showed us a private demo of their current prototype, which they're shrinking down to a size that will be able to fit into smart glasses. It runs at incredibly low power. Gallia by OpenBCI is a VR headset with multimodal brain and body sensing. Gallia can track live metrics in VR like stress and mental workload. OpenBCI gave demos of Gallia in their private suite, which was super fun, and they really liked our smart glasses, and there was free beer.
X-Ray Glass is a software that provides live captions to the deaf and hard of hearing on smart glasses. They also provide intelligence tools, like the ability to summarize your conversation after you've had it. Hey X-Ray, can you summarize this conversation for me? This demo is a two-for-one because X-Ray Glass runs on Enreal Air, which is a pair of screen smart glasses released by Enreal that use birdbath optics and pair to your phone. They can do things like watch movies or run custom apps. Therapia VR uses the Vive Flow to help distract patients during surgery from their pain and discomfort. They use techniques of breathing and hypnosis in the VR space to do so. After multiple days of walking, we needed a little glute massage. Peter Ray develops light field projectors. Light fields are so important for smart glasses because they solve the virgin's accommodation conflict problem. Light fields make it so that the angle of your eyes is aligned with the focus of your eyes, which increases comfort of viewing an AR display. Long gun vision, thermal camera, curved mirror see-through, firefighter helmet. Long gun vision develops a helmet that gives firefighters thermal vision so they can better fight fires. This is incredibly difficult as all AR technology is not designed to withstand the temperatures that Long and Vision has to withstand. Huge shout out to Enzo, the CEO at Long and Vision, for taking an Uber to our hotel at 11.30 at night to give us a private demo in the food court. Avagant is innovating micro LCOS displays for the next generation of lightweight smart glasses. They gave us a private demo of their new LCOS displays with next generation waveguides, and we were super impressed by the visual quality at lightweight and small size. This, this baby doesn't want to fall off, <laughs> Anti-tip babies. <laughs> Upgrade your baby today. <laughs> Letton AR is developing pin mirror optics lenses for smart glasses. While the display looks gorgeous, I don't think consumers are going to be adopting the pin mirror optics, which obfuscate the eyes. Yeah, I move over a bit. You're the block in my pretty view. <laughs> the Zero glasses are brain and body sensing glasses with built-in EEG, ECG, and IMU that intelligently sense and predict seizures before they happen. These look pretty cool, and I predict we're going to see more brain and body sensing glasses with health and wellness use cases in the years to come. Haptex is building the world's most advanced haptic feedback system using next generation pneumatic and fluidic haptics for XR. While this is pretty large and not exactly smart glasses yet, it's just super cool. The open source smart glasses are a fully open source pair of smart glasses with display and microphones. They have a suite of use cases like live captions, live translation, note taking, intelligent assistant, and more. And I brought them to CES with Alex to demo. My upcoming video will go more in depth into the open source smart glasses project and how we showed it off at CES, so stay tuned. If you like smart glasses, you should join the H2O smart glasses community. It's an opportunity to join live smart glasses meetups, access our resources, be part of the newsletter, and to meet myself and many of the other people you saw in this video. The link to the community is in the description. See you there. This has been an overview of the best smart glasses technologies at CES 2023. Subscribe for more Smart Glasses content and demos and stay tuned because I'm going to be dropping more in-depth videos about many of the Smart Glasses that you saw in this video, including these. Thanks for watching. Hey, what's up, what's up, YouTube? Like, comment, subscribe, YouTube, YouTube talk, YouTube talk. Uh, like in the, in the comment and ring the bell in the, in the subscribe. Now, go, now. You're awesome, kid. <laughs>